Beverly Nina. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so happy that you're here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe. And I also hope that you click that bell button so you are notified every time I upload. <laughs> my reason for starting this YouTube channel was because I wanted to be able to be open about the things that I go through my testimonials but some of the things that got downloads on me during my quiet time i want for us to be able to be interactive with one another and give each other advice so we can be able to grow in christ together and mature i don't have everything all together i love to give people advice and i love to be there for a lot of people and sometimes people think that I have it all together and in reality, I don't. I don't think anybody has it all together. Yeah, I just wanted to be open in this video and I just want to just talk to, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna say exactly what it is that I'm going through, but people think that like things are just going so perfect right now in my life. And I mean, I'm alive and I'm healthy. My family is still alive and they're still healthy. Like I have my friends, but you know, there's some things in our lives that we want there's some things that we are reaching towards there's things that god wants us to do that we're in the process of doing and we kind of feel defeated or we feel just tired like we don't want to continue it's hard for us to get up and that's kind of the season that i'm in now let me call it my dry season okay i'm currently in my dry season and if you are in your dry season i hope that you stick around and watch this video because i want to give you all the encouragement that i am constantly telling myself <laughs> every single day Oh, when you're in your dry season, when you're in a, a season of, of waiting, it's hard. You wake up every day and you want to see the change it is that God is bringing about. You want to see the difference. You want to reach your breakthrough. This morning, I didn't want to wake up. This morning, I just wanted to lay in the bed. Oh, let me clarify. I didn't want to wake up, but I didn't want to get out of the bed. I didn't want to pray. I didn't want to take a shower. I didn't want to brush my teeth. I didn't want to record this video. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lay in the bed and sleep away my day. A lot of people, that's what they do. They have a hard time with aligning their emotions to the word of God. They have a hard time with surrendering their emotions and surrendering how they feel to Christ. And I want to let you know that the devil wants for you to keep your mouth shut. He doesn't want you to go to God. He doesn't want you to get up. He doesn't want you to pray. He wants for you to shut your mouth. He doesn't want you to open up your mouth because he understands the power that is in your mouth. And he understands that when you worship Christ and when you pray to Christ, when he knows the change you're going to feel on the inside, he knows that you're going to receive joy. You're going to receive the peace that surpasses all understanding. And he doesn't want you to feel that way he wants to rob you from your joy so if you're currently in the season where you're afraid of doing something you're in a dry season you're in a waiting season whatever season it is that you're in i want you to know that god is behind the scenes and he is working things out in your favor my favorite verse and you probably already know what i'm about to say but it's romans 8 28 that is that god works things out for the good for those who love him and those who have been called according to his purpose this is something i keep telling myself every single day is that God is good. God loves you. He cares about you. Be honest about how you're feeling because when you're honest about how you're feeling, God is able to do something with your hurt. So I wake up in the morning and I'm telling myself, oh my God, do you love me? Like, are you, are you sleeping on me right now? Like my time, are you sleeping on me? I ask these questions because I need for him to remind me that he loves me. I need for him to remind me I am working things out for you. You have a purpose. I'm aligning things out for your favor in this moment. I need you to believe in what I'm doing for you. I need you to stop worrying. I need you to stop doubting me. So I ask all these questions so that I can receive that revelation over and over and over from the Holy Spirit because you're gonna need to remind yourself these things every single day. And even if you don't feel it, even if you don't feel like God loves you, even if you feel like God is mad at you, even if you feel like God is not working things out for you, even in that moment when you feel like he isn't, tell yourself that he is. And when you speak it out loud and you say it, I mean, you may not feel a difference automatically, but when you say it out loud and you keep saying it, you're hearing it and that changes something. God is with you in your darkest moments. He's with you right now in the valley that you're walking. He is with you right now as you're trying to climb that mountain. He is with you. He hasn't left you. He's not sleeping on you. Do not feel defeated. The enemy wants you to feel defeated, but we know that through Christ, we have the victory. We're not a victim of anything. We are the victors, okay? The devil, he's a father of lies. So don't even believe whatever he's saying. Whatever he's telling you in your mind, 
Take those thoughts captive and surrender them to Christ. Make them obedient to the word of God. So if you tell yourself, oh, I'm not going to make it. I can't believe that this is happening to me. I'm so dumb. Da, da, da. You tell yourself, no, I'm not dumb. I am a daughter of the most high God. God has a purpose for me, a specific plan for me, and I'm going to live that out. Tell yourself, I am beautiful. I'm loved. I'm courageous. I am strong. I'm bold. I can do it because it's God living within me that's given me that strength. So um, I want you to make the most of whatever season it is that you are in currently, especially if you are in the waiting season, right? God doesn't want you just to wait around and wait for the blessing it is that he has for you. He wants for you to do something with your time. There's so many things that he wants for you to learn in this moment so you can take in your next season. There's character that needs to be built. There's molding that needs to be done. Praise him and thank him. It's not so that you can receive the blessing quicker but it's because it allows you to be at peace. It gives you the joy that you need. Trust me, I get it, I get it. It's hard right now. It's hard for me, you know, every single day, but I'm doing it and I know that God is going to reward me greatly because I'm stewarding my time right and I'm trusting in Him and I'm believing in Him for greater things. But I wanna give y'all some solutions of what I do whenever I feel defeated, whenever I feel like, okay god the season that i'm in it needs to hurry up and go so the first thing i do is of course i pray early in the morning make sure you don't just get on your phone and go on social media it can be hard i mean but make sure you like when you wake up every morning you're giving god your time 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes whatever another thing that i love to do is i love to read currently i'm reading the uninvited book by lisa turkers and nothing to prove by jenny allen read a book read something that's going to help keep your spirits lifted i love to listen to worship music if you need um, a list of some songs you can actually go to my Spotify link I'll leave it in the description box so you guys can listen to some of the music that I love to worship to another thing that I love to do is I love to work out I love to do Pilates it helps me to just relax and to breathe and I love to do cardio and another thing that I love to do I love to get dolled up okay I don't wear makeup every day but on days where I feel just defeated I feel like ugh. I like get myself up and I get dressed and I make my shirt I look like I'm going somewhere nice so I can feel good, I can feel okay. And then I do my eyeshadow. Do y'all like my eyeshadow? <laughs> I don't ever really do eyeshadow, but you know, I do it from time to time, okay. And I love to watch Netflix or Hulu. I like to watch at least two episodes of something <laughs> not making my whole day just Netflix and Hulu but watching a couple of FBI cops and finding the bad guys and all that other stuff. I love those type of movies but yeah I hope that this video was helpful to you. I don't want you all to feel discouraged. We are in the same boat currently. If you need any advice or you need some scriptures to help get you through your day, get you through your time, I'll leave some things down in the description box for you. My email is always open so go ahead and send me an email if you need advice or you just need just someone to talk to on here i got you your girl baby Bev got you i cannot wait to see you in my next video until then you are loved and beautiful and don't stop fighting adios